Yo, what's good, man? This is NBS Central, NBS Uncensored. We back for another show. Make sure you go subscribe to the channel. I got a special guest in the building, man. A female battle rapper. First lady to be signed to RBE. Caution. What's going on? What's going on with you, man? Well, we got... Thanks for having me, Keo. Shit, yeah, man. yeah, man. First of all, congratulations on making it to the MBS Power Rankings for the month of July. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thank you. I, I'll, well, I was going to ask you first things off. Uh, how does it feel to be uh, voted by the respected <laughs> media panel on the MBS Power Rankings? It's amazing. Um I'm I'm humbled by it because I'm up and coming. So I'm kind of like a rookie compared to the top tiers. And to be mentioned with the names that I was mentioned with, two in particular, I'm definitely fans of First Lady Flames and Official. Um, I've watched them battle rap before I was actually battle rapping. So, yeah, that's, that's phenomenal. It's amazing. Mm. Um, you so you and Lady Flames are in you uh both from Richmond. Um, do you do you guys have any type of relationship or contact with each other? We're both from Virginia, but we're not both from Richmond. I'm actually ah. from, I'm actually from the Seven Cities, uh, Virginia Beach, SeaTac, mm. Burnett Beach Town. That's the movement. Stand up. Okay. But uh, um. She's from Richmond, yes, which is probably about an hour, hour and a half drive from me. I do know her personally, yes. Um, we friends, we cool, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with gangster, like, that's my homie. Mm, okay, all right, cool. I had no idea about that. That's that's something new that I learned today now. Um, yeah. So you go by the name Caution. Um, first thing's all, what? So what 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 made you wanted to go by the name Caution? How did that come about? Uh, wasn't my idea at all. Actually, <laughs> I was a teenager. I got into a fight. Um, I beat up somebody who wasn't supposed to get beat up. If you catch my drift, like on mm -hmm. some like street street way, ways. So, um. Uh. After I got done with what I was doing, it was a lot of people that was trying to harm me. And a particular nation was like, nah, you're not about to mess with us. So my folks that rescued me called me caution because they couldn't believe that I was the girl that they were referring to. Like, you mean her? Like her? She she beat her up? She did that? Mm -hmm. So my name was Caution. And and you and you just went with the name caution. I mean, forward. when you got like ten or fifteen people calling you that every day, and then you meet somebody new that you really don't want to know your name, and you first tell them your name is caution. I might I maybe was sixteen when the first time I told somebody my name was caution, but I had been caution to other people for maybe a year before I told mm. somebody. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you so you just you know stepped into the scene i just heard heard of you um there's pro people probably heard of you wait know more about you than i do but um how, how long have you been battle rapping by the way um i did my first battle rap 2000 late 2018 um i got my boots smoked I had no idea what I was doing because I was thinking it was like pulling up at the barbershop and, you know, freestyling with your homies. And my opponent was fully prepared and aware of how to do it. So that was my first battle. After that, I probably did two or three. And then in 2020, when COVID hit, I wasn't doing anything until probably later that year when they started opening the world back up slowly. Mm. So give or take i've been doing this three years but over the time span of since late 2018. okay the reason why i ask you that because um 
you know, we talked off air about it. Um, you know, you go by caution, but right. when you when you when you jumped into the battle rap game, uh, going by the name caution, were you uh, you were you aware knowing what what's gonna happen and what how people were gonna look at it because there's also a lady caution in battle rap also. Hell no. <laughs> like, I didn't know who the hell was. I didn't, you know what I mean? No disrespect in that way because she was active, but she wasn't a popular female battle rapper name that I had heard of or was looking for. Looking for. I heard of the C3s. I heard of the Shunies. I heard of the Farahs. I heard of the Bonnies, the 40s. Like, those are the officials. The Jazzes, those were the people. I heard of Gaddis and uh, QB, Black Diamond. Those were the women that I heard of when I first came into the game as a top-tier female battle rapper. After I had done maybe three or four battles and somebody was like, yo, is, are you are you lady caution? And I was like, nigga, I'm a, I'm a lady. Like, what, what the hell you mean? He was like, no, <laughs> girl who battle rap, is that you? I'm like, yeah, that's me. It was like, but is that your name on your shirt? You know what I'm saying? And it's spelt differently. So yeah. I was like, bro, like kind of offended. But then I realized he was telling me it was somebody else named that. So I fact checked uh. YouTube and was like, man, she don't need to have my name. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I don't have my name at all. I don't. I'm. I'm kind of mad that she came out in battle rap as Lady Caution before I did, cause you didn't do us justice. Mm, I I had, and what's yeah. and what's the relationship w between you and Lady Caution right now? I don't know that hoe at all. As a matter of fact, she wow. told me to tell people when they ask about her. To be like, I don't know that bitch, move on to the next question. But I ain't going to do you like that, Kia. I don't know her. I don't have no personal relationship with her. I've seen her once or twice at different battle rap events that I was there supporting other people. But she wasn't rapping when I seen her. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I've never seen Shorty in person. I've only seen her on, you know, rapping. I've only seen her on YouTube rapping. And the few times I seen her in person, yeah, I don't want to say too much because I wasn't impressed. Oh wow! Okay, so so in front, it looks like you guys gonna you know be crossing paths really soon. Um, yeah. Especially, I'm not gonna you, deny smoke. I deny smoke with no one, but I will tell you, I did a Twitter space where I was I was on Twitter in a space and she came in the space and her and I were having some friendly battle rap banter and she will, goes on to say that she will look toward the top of 2023 to battle me for the name so when y'all start seeing Lady C on cards it's because I smoked her boot she finally let like you know as a matter of fact I would like for y'all to see it but I'm gonna keep it a whole band I want the public to know this Whenever that happens, the way I'm going to do her, they might not drop that footage. So you're going to want to be in the building. Just know that she's going to have to stick to those terms, whether they drop the footage or not. So you just might mm. see her use her name, the Lady C. Just depends on where we do it and how it's done. I'm just putting that out so, there for you. So, so you say this is going to go down in 2023? That's what she said. I, it could have went down yesterday if it was up to me. Okay. All right. All right. So hopefully, Stay ready maybe... so I don't gotta get ready. You feel me? So so hopefully we'll see. So hopefully we'll see that soon. Um, in twenty twenty three for the name of caution. Um, another individual that was voted in the power rankings that you know. Um, I I'm not sure what's the the history behind it was, the by the name of J Love. Um. What's going on with that? Um, truthfully, I never seen J Love name other than on cards or on that list. I never actually watched her battle, and from what I've heard from my peers, didn't excite me to go want to see her battle. So she perhaps 
was very active or may have had a very good battle, which is why she got on the list. But from what I've been told, because I haven't, like, I watched her, but my peers are not impressed with her. So, you know, I'm not, I did not know smoke with nobody. I don't care who you are. Is there any history between you and J-Love or there's nothing at all? With me and J-Love? I mean, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know her. I don't have no... I don't know. I don't know her at all. I don't have no personal, no ever encounter with her. I, nothing like that. But you know, mm. I guess, I guess, because that's like what she's like New York or what she go hard. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? you're right. So, I guess because maybe with she go hard and that movement that they have going on and and gritty doing the things that he does for promo and things like that. Maybe perhaps people are looking in that direction. Um, but I'd rather take Woody before I take her. And I'm not wow. necessarily with him either. Okay. I did not right. make one of the smoke at all. Uh, all right. Like, I just, at the, I... like at the end of the day, the way RBE works, see, I, I realize I'm a target. You know what I'm saying? Because... I'm at RBE. I'm the first lady signed to the brand of RBE, and I'm the queen of the bricks. So I do realize that there's a target on me. But you don't get to come into the RBE brick by brick process gunning for the people who've already been here and at the top. What you would do is get in line. You get your 1SK, and then if you do good at your 1SK and they put you in the process, then you get in line. They give you a couple battles to test you. And hopefully you will graduate by getting a name on a big card. That's the process mm. of the brick. You understand okay. what I'm saying? That's okay. up to her. Now, now, now I hear about the, um, the, you're being, you're the first lady being signed to RBE. Now, how did that come about? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of amazing because I guess I wasn't expecting it first of all <clears throat> um, before I was given a contract the only thing that I was looking at as far as my journey on RBE was hopefully I can get to get on max out you know, let me do good enough in the small rooms and on on the the major cards, but maybe not the biggest plat the uh, the biggest events, but on the bigger cards and and try to get me a name. And my opponent on my second battle, which was after my one SK, my opponent backed out, and I got a couple of hours notice before the event. The other young lady opponent backed out. Shout out La G, Lady Brick shit. Mm. Uh, Laji agreed uh, to battle me as well because her opponent didn't show up. So both of us did an uh, exhibition, which was only three minutes and 30 seconds of material, three hours before the event started, and we were both able to get through our material cleanly. When I finished, ARP shook my hand, gave me my props, and asked me, was I ready to sign a contract? I felt like my feet wasn't touching the ground because I kind of tried to hurry up and get outside so I could scream and I let it all out. So getting the contract was just brought to me. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no, something that was now, now, um, not too long ago, I had Goody on the show, you know, um, and he talked about the contract situation. I was like, I know you can't say much when it comes to the contract. Um, but what, what 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 are some things of this contract consist of? It gives me priority. It guarantees me that I'll be able to come back and battle on RBE and that I get first choice in essence. That's just basically the consensus of what I'll speak on on it. Now are you are you allowed to battle in, in other leagues? Yeah, being hell yeah. Listen, I get compensated. <laughs> I get compensated when I battle on RBE. And RBE tells me, the owner of RBE tells me, I got my bag. I will not stop you from your bag. As long as you don't turn me down, 
bag to go bag somewhere else, you're good. So I'm I, as long as I'm not overbooking on top of an RVE event, they have no problem with me battling anywhere I want to. Oh, okay, all right, okay. I'm glad you cleared that. Oh, up. I, um, I can't like double battle for RVE. You see what and, I'm saying? And and what and what's your relationship like with ARP Lawrence and Wing? <laughs> Um, me and ARP have a very business relationship, but it's a friendly business relationship. Um, I'm able to call them and vent to them. I'm able to call them and ask them questions, but no, we haven't hung out and like parties or nothing, but he's so down to earth. Like if you just have a conversation with him, it seems like the conversation lasts forever and seems like you get to know who he is because he's so transparent. He's so authentic. Whatever conversation you're having with him, you see the true character of him. So you feel like you know him more than you you actually do. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Lawrence is cool. You know what I mean? Me and Lawrence have the same type of relationship me and ARP do. That is very business. Me and Wing are cool. We have a little more than a business relationship because I'm in the brick process. She has to be more hands-on with us as bricks. Lawrence and her... However, they facilitate. She's the one who comes and works with us as the bricks hands on directly, telling us what we're doing, how the, the program is set or the process is set for us to go. So I deal with wing and have more conversations with wing than I do with any of them. But yeah, like I can call any of them, talk mm -hmm. to them, chop it up. Thanks. Okay. So now, now I, I want, I'm pretty sure you explained it many times. I, I'm going to, I want you to explain it again. You know, I hear about brick by brick, the bricks, brick yeah. shit. Uh, tell, tell us how the brick by brick process works. Okay, this is how it works. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> let me take it. I say that because uh it's kind of plain and simple as cut and dry rbe is chosen they, they're not really doing no choosing so if you want to be a part of their process you got to understand this company was ran successfully and putting out phenomenal battles without signing any artists or reaching out in that essence as far as their brand was concerned the battles was always brought to them because the battlers came to them you know what I'm saying? So now with the brick by brick process, this is your way of getting on RBE's platform as far as content. Doesn't mean you will be contracted with the brand, but then ARP during this process decided for the protection of the process and to keep interference and people, you know what I mean, structured for the, what we're trying to do here. He put contracts involved that once you've been battle tested, if he wants to deal with you, that's on him. Nobody has no control over that but him. This is his lead. But the brick by brick process, you do a 1SK. When you do your 1SK, they're not looking for win or loss. I've been told this several times by the staff or the higher ups on, on RBE. They're not looking for win or loss. They're looking to see what they can do with you. If they can market you and put you out there. Are you active? Are you doing the things you need to be doing behind the scenes as well as being, you know, talked about on the forefront? Um, they want to see if you are you can be battle tested, if you're not just going to get slaughtered and wiped out, if you're going to stand there toe to toe and be able to go, are you going to elevate with each battle? You know what I mean? They look for all those things. So once they see that, they give you a few more battles, you know what I mean? And if you do good. They'll give you a name, which means RBE is investing in you. You've invested in yourself. This is invest yourself process. You get yourself there. You do your own own dirty work for us, traveling stay. And you do that until you get to a point to where they want to invest in you. And their first investment in you is by getting you a name. That was the, con that's the, was the consensus. Loyalty and integrity is the most important parts of the brick by brick process because you could be phenomenal. But if you grimy and your character ain't right, ain't nobody dealing with you. You know what I mean? Over here, it's elite over here. We don't just take anybody just because you can rap. 
a lot of people can ride. Okay, so so you're you're under contract with um, RBE. So did you graduate from the brick by brick process already, or? <laughs> You know what? You be doing your homework, bro. I, <laughs> you, see, when you talked to me before we went on air, you didn't tell me you knew everything you knew. Um, <laughs> actually, I would, okay, so you know how you got a gifted child that yeah. when they get to school, the teacher just sees something in them and convinces the parent that you need to just trust me and let me give this child a test and they test the child and the child scores phenomenal. I'm I'm probably that kid, okay? That actually happened to me in real life too. Yes, I'm really a smart person. Um, but I think what happened was with the female movement that they were trying to do with RBE, when they attempted it a couple times prior to me being there, it wasn't successful as far as the ballots were concerned. So it was sabotaged by some artists and some of the artists that make it didn't wow them. I came mm. and did my one SK. I wowed them. And the first battle that they were given to me to show that I was battle tested got dubbed on the day of the battle. And then three hours later, I was there to perform three minutes and 30 seconds worth of material. And for that, ARP saw something in me and asked me to sign the contract. Like all the bricks that were given contracts were asked to like for the work we put in, for the loyalty that we've shown, for the integrity that we have, we were asked, come be a part of the brand RBE. You've done your due diligence. We're gonna give you your priority. We're gonna make sure you get compensated for all your battles. You'll be good. You know what I'm saying? The vets, the vets, they asked ARP. Mm. So I'm just going to assume based off of what I see, I look at your last two battles. I know you'd be holding down for the bricks. I'm going to assume that you graduated from the bricks because obviously on this next bricks card, you are not on it. <laughs> so um, I'll just leave. You be paying attention, boy. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm going to say, just... I'm gonna say like this. Um. Once a brick and you graduate, always a brick. Okay. So if if you complete the process, um, which I'm still in the process, actually, uh, my contract doesn't take me out of the process because I want to go through the process and elevate as I'm supposed to. Mm. I don't want to jump from this to that and the public and everybody isn't aware of what I'm doing. This is giving RBE and myself time to move gradually as I'm supposed to organically. So, okay, so yeah, I'm still in the process. Okay, so with that being said, you guys got an event coming up, which is on the 27th, if I'm correct. Um, mm -hmm. you're, you're not on the card. Well, why is that? You got another battle coming up or what? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, you I like you, Kia. <laughs> um, yeah, my bad. I'm sorry, that's my fault. No worries, stories. But uh yeah, I do. I do. So let's say this. You know how um Tay Rock got his little line when he was like, uh, what do you say? Uh Summer Man is coming. Ricky Ricky. Our Oh, Ricky, Ricky. Wow. Blood, sweat, and tears coming. Okay, I get what you say. Next site might be on the way. Mm. So all I've been playing with. Okay. My name, my name is ringing in all those conversations. So let's just say I'm asking every vet since we since since this live we are gonna do this. I'm, I'm I'm gonna say this. I'm asking every female vet that ever touched the RBE stage. To check your goddamn inbox, check your motherfucking DM, look at your cell phone calls because I'm calling you out. Come on outside. Oh wow. Uh oh. oh Come on outside. Is. Okay. Shout out the hustle. Shout out the hustle. I Bonnie touched that stage. Shooty stepped that stage. Ooh. You're um, saying names that I'm thinking. 
You know, forty um, boys touched that stage. Yeah, forty. Robin Rhymes. Um, you, um, you, you know, QB touched that stage. Oh yeah, QB Black you know, Diamond. You know, Fred Funeral touched that stage. You know, oh, C three wow. touched that stage. Jesus you know, East Heart touched that stage. <laughs> I ain't Shade the name Ashley, away. right? I'm not, I'm, not saying, I'm not denying no smoke, bro. I mean this wholeheartedly. Like any any female, any vet top tier that's ever touched the RBE yeah. stage, Gaddis. So, so, so I like I once again. I know you can't say much. Can we expect a max out event before the year ends? I I don't be knowing how dates set up with events. I will say that they don't be talking about stuff that's for like years to come. They be talking about things that are in the present coming. You know what I mean? But I don't know like dates or times. But they're not gonna talk about something today that that's six seven months ago when we got a event. On August 27th, that's Saturday in two weeks. Come show up in Atlanta, brick by brick four. Shout out to my Briggs. Remedy Loco versus XL is the main event on that card. Yeah, I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, I, I guess you're on the next Max Style card then. So, I mean, I, look, <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm on the Max Style card. I'm going to say that that's in my path. I'm running. I'm running mm -hmm. for it. And you know what I'm saying? If 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 this if this in California want to see me, I'll come out there. If 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 uh what's my boy in, in Houston? Uh Houston Scotty, Barco. Yeah, Houston Barco, Houston Barco. If if Scotty want me to come down there, what's up, Beretta Blaze? You know uh -oh. what I mean? I'll let you go. I come out there. I got I got uh, listen. I ain't got no worries, bro. I'm denying no smoke with nobody. Like, shout out to Diz, because I seen him at the last Brick by Brick event, and he gave me some, you know what I'm saying, some real jewels, and also gave me my props. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to him, because he's definitely a legend in the game. Um, Really quick, though, what, what, what's your thoughts on female battle rap right now? Like, where it's at right now? We taking over. Uh, No, I'm just playing. Um, No, we definitely are uh rolling up uh it's snowball effect like it started off something small like size of a uh baseball and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and it's rolling um it's actually moving um it feels good to be i guess the face or part of the movement that rbe mm -hmm. is doing with that with the females um we getting into that battle rap culture heavy um mm -hmm. wody that's on my list to to try to get there. I got I got I like I'm making history here. I'm starting a legacy, and I'm not gonna you know what I mean I'm not gonna drop the ball. I, I plan on still getting better and better, and, and get elevating myself and being uh, involved in everything I can with the battle rap culture. Right right now you know um, obviously I do want to see you battle the top tiers, um, but I would like to see you battle you know some of the like. I guess you could say up and coming females or the females that's that's hungry right now, like oh. like names like names like you know Ash Cash, Lady J, um, a, a Hope Trilly, um, uh, n names like that, um, Eliza Versa. I think those type of names are really hungry right now. I think obviously you eventually will get the top tier, but I think they. I think like this, um. Basically, almost all those names you named were supposed to be on RBE before I got here. Due to whatever sabotage, contract, life issues, however it went, they're not here. I personally don't give a damn if they come. But I did not know smoke. You know what I'm saying? I keep saying it. And I got other names and other lady bricks to battle these people that you're talking about that's up and coming. I got other names that I'm more focused on at this point because I'm getting catapulted. You know, like the slingshot and the shootout. Like I'm getting catapulted. Mm -hmm. and, and I plan to make sure that my talent and, and, and my grind and my hard work is going to show that I'm supposed to be where I'm supposed to be at. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not taking none of this lightly or for granted. I'm not sitting here speaking on no entitlement because it's been a lot of hard work that was done before I got here. 
it's been a lot of hard work that was done by other females in the battle rap culture that I appreciate for opening up the lane and the door for me because I'm not the sex sales female battle rapper. But every other box, I check them hoes. Mm, okay, okay. I like this. I like this energy. Um, so so are you if I'm correct, you're the only female that signed with RBE right now, right? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, definitely. Um, so tell us about this event coming up on the 27th. Um, um the brick by brick four. Uh tell us a little bit about that. All right, so this event that's coming up, uh, for those of you who don't know, there are uh, bricks, which is brick by brick. The seasons is two seasons. The first season, we had our graduation card, which was brick by brick three. I was on that card coming into brick by brick two. My first battle was supposed to be with the bros. Um, but then we had uh, the second season is now going to be on this card. They're, they're, this is like their debut or like basically... We're shining all the light on the season two brick by brick people who uh, haven't had a chance to battle yet. So, uh. like, this card is really, we have Remedy, Loco, and Excel as the headliner. And um, well, they came in from, hold on one second, I'm trying to think, sorry. Looking at the flyer, that's what I was doing was pulling the fly. But um, Remedy, Loco, and Excel. Is battling on this card, and they're the headline. We 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 are. If y'all not familiar with Remedy, he's from the Straight Tours. If you look at the Straight Tours, when that that first started, I was on the first Straight Tour. Remedy got signed on his Straight Tour, so you know mm -hmm. what I mean. Um, Remedy Loco and XL. Shout out to XL, cause like I looked that boy up. That boy got like a hundred fucking battles. You hear me? And yeah. for him to be able to come up with new material is phenomenal. Like, I want to be like him when I grow up. I want to be able to have that many goddamn battles and still come up with shit. But uh, we also got Craig Lamar and 6'8 on that card. Uh, shout out to 6'8. It's my brick. We got Coach Coleon versus Luck Dollars. Now, this is brick on brick violence. This is also season one versus season two. Um, Luck Dollars is season two. Coach Coleon is season one. Coach Coleon is also a contracted artist with Rare Breed. But that's going to be a dope uh, card for sure. We got Will Major versus Death the Kid. Death the Kid, this is going to be his first three round battle on RBE. Uh, he just did his 1SK on Brick by Brick 3. Will Major had a phenomenal battle on Brick by Brick 3. Y'all go check that out. Will Major versus Bone Car. That's, that's that battle, if y'all have not seen it on Rare Breed Entertainment, you want to show somebody what battle rap is all about? They never seen it. They don't know what battle rap is all about. Go watch that battle. Because every time I watch it, I have a hard time deciding who won that battle. And speaking <laughs> of Bone Car, Bone Car versus Sniper is on this Brick by Brick 4 car. Again, this date is August 27th. Y'all make sure y'all pop out. It's going to be at... um. Think that's will will will, will will this battle be be streaming? It will will there be a stream on this or just? No, nah, we're not doing no streaming on this one. Um, we will be doing face off. will be live, but the uh the event will be clipped out and put out. You know the media sometimes they do that a lot too. But we're gonna be doing that at the event. RBE okay. Media, shout out to RBE Media too because they um they helping out a lot. Shout out to you and your platform because a lot of these media are not really dealing with us bricks as I think they should. But that's my own personal. Um, we also got uh, Tato versus La G. That's my lady bricks. Let's go. Let's brick on brick violence. Both of them season you be, two. Both you beat both of them. Well, <laughs> my bad. I didn't mean to say that. Shout it's going to gonna be a them, great man. battle. It's going to be a great battle, though, because standing in front of both of them, I can honestly tell you, three hours prep, Laji, that would be dope to know what she's like prepared. You know, like having time to have really invested in and, and got that, you know, that, that, that time to prep for your opponent at that moment. That, that's phenomenal. And Tato, 
you know, she was a little distraught with the conditions, but I feel like now she's ready. She knows what to expect. She knows what she's looking for. I think it's going to be super dope. Um, I got Calf and Steve Staples. I don't know how to call that battle. Calf uh, is the only season two person that we have that has ever battled a season one person. Uh, before this luck and uh, Coach Coleon was set up. But uh, that the way they promoing, if Steve is doing anything in the ring like he doing on promo, that's going to be a dope-ass battle because <laughs> if you haven't seen some of their promo, bro, like they doing, they doing Vine videos, they doing TikTok videos. They doing all kind of things, bro. It's, it's popping out there in, in these RBE streets. It's getting lit. <laughs> we got uh, G's LaFleur versus J Lopez. Um, that's going to be a crazy battle. They both got dope pens. I like both their energy. It's going to be crazy. Um, that's actually a battle that I think is going to be uh, sneak the sneak battle like it, it ain't nobody gonna think it's all that looking at it on the card seeing the names but i think when we actually see that unfold in the building that's gonna be one of the dopest back and forths that i think we're gonna see that day yeah. um we got raw image versus peaches lady brick shit peaches trying to get in and be a lady brick and uh raw image is trying to give her a run for that and I'm going to stand with, with Raw because I want Raw to, to represent the bricks right. We got uh, Johnny Gats and Luke Kane. Y'all bear with us with Johnny Gats and Luke Kane. I ain't even going to hold you. I, I keep it a band, man. I wow. Y'all bear with us with that. And, um, you know, the 1SK, we got two 1SKs for this card. Uh, the male 1SK, we got Dub D versus Profit. And uh, Dub D is from, from Virg where well, he's from Louisiana, but he's from Virginia, his home league from Virginia. TNBL. And he gonna smoke <laughs> Profit boots. Um, the female one SK, we got Mobitis versus uh, Jay Gray. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. I've heard a lot about Jay Gray. Mobitis also is from VA. So I'm hoping that it turns up and turns out. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that's on the card. Uh, I need y'all to get y'all tickets. Go to rarebreedent.com. The, the card is uh, August 27th. You want to get there, be there. It's going to be lit. Um. So so they so they got three female battles um that night. Right? Where was the, where was the third one? The oh, third? oh because of the one SK. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yes. because of the one SK. Um but see they, they, that battle, they are there's no bricks involved in that battle yet. That that's ah, trying to be okay. bricks. Gotcha. That SK. Okay, got you. Um what what would your advice be to the female battle rappers like in the one those K and the ones that's in the bricks right now trying to be in the position that you're in right now? What's my advice? Yeah. Uh do everything Wing and Lawrence tell you to do. Don't have no expectations or entitlement. Make sure you, you perform cleanly and do the best writing you've ever done. Um, stay out of trauma and catty bullshit. <laughs> um, okay, so um, you, you definitely had made an impact um, with these last two battles. Um, what what are your peers saying right now? And you know your 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 RB E fellows, your bricks, um, and uh, you know your supporters down in VA. What, what what are they saying right now with the impact that you had lately? Um, all my peers aren't all so happy for me. I got a lot of people that stand with me. 
I got a lot of people that that uh that believe in me that that think this is dope. Uh, I got a lot of top tier uh battle rap peers that have given me my flowers and cosign. Oh. Um, it's for sure. Um Hustle. Miss Hustle watched my battle and gave me feedback on that. You know, shout out to her too, because like she really is dope. Um Remy called me. Chrome 23. Um, what? <laughs> Yeah, you know, like, uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Coming into this, I didn't think it was going to be like this because, you know, like watching it on TV or on YouTube, it looks so afar. It seems a, a far fetched, but like it's happening so organically and it doors are opening without me. Like I, I go to sleep. It's one way. I wake up, it's another way. And it's happening like that every day since I've been with RBE. Since, I, since I've been with RBE with my 1SK, I can go to sleep and things are one way. And I wake up and it's another way for the betterment of me. Like doors opening up. Somebody else know me. Somebody retweeting me. Somebody co-signing me. Somebody like, like, it's been phenomenal. I'm enjoying the ride. And, what, and, what, and, what, and, what's, and what's that feeling like getting all this support and attention from the battle rap culture right now is it what you expected or are you just surprised by it i'm surprised hell no i didn't expect it like <laughs> um, i always wanted to be in entertainment obviously um i used to do music but i didn't think like i'd be able to cross over and battle rap with two to three years of consistent work and be at a place to where I'm being compensated. I'm getting on the second largest platform in the country, third largest in the world. Like never would have never would have thought that. Mm, you know what I'm saying? So so all right. So what's what's next for caution? What 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 what's now now what's in store for a caution for the rest of this year um to be honest i'm staying busy uh trying to be as in y'all face as much as possible do a lot more interviews a lot more battles um i'm staying under my staying humble with the team that i i came with that i trust you know what i'm saying because like for example my management that's probably never ever going to change because of who that person has been to me and how this has worked, never gonna let that go. Shout out 514. Um, even with this process now with RBE, I'm so thankful that Wing is one of the people that has to be so hands-on with us because the way she presents us to y'all, you would have no idea how I'd be behind the scenes with all the headache and the bickering and you know what I mean? It's a lot of personalities. It's like 20, 26, 27 of us total. It's a lot of personalities that she's juggling and managing. So like, I'm, I'm humbled by all the attention because I stay grounded. I trust the process and I know I'm not bigger than the process. Mm, okay. Um, how, how many more battles can we expect from you this year? Shit, this year I'm gonna go for about 10. No, I'm just playing. Uh, <laughs> uh, truthfully, maybe two or three. Okay, I mean, okay. it's already August, the, the year is wrapping up, and I took this month off to specifically prepare for my next plate. So, I may oh, be able so to that's already back. so that's already booked already, it's locked in. Um, Uh, yeah, yeah, you know. So, okay. oh, I'll wow. be, let's just say you're definitely going to see me on RBE again for the end of the year. Okay. You know All what right. I mean? Somewhere maybe like October. I can say that. I, I can say that much. And I can say that any vet that has ever touched the RBE stage, come on outside. Wow. Okay. All right. 
we'll, we'll find out who that is soon. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't wait so I can talk about the angle. Actually, I can't wait, bro. But it's wow. lit. It's lit. Definitely, I will. I'm definitely, um, I'm definitely looking forward to this. Um, but before we go, um, give us, give us three reasons why people should go check out this, the Brick by Brick Four, on the 27th, uh, coming up. Uh, give us three reasons. Okay, reason number one: everybody who's ever been to a Brick by Brick event will tell you it is some of the most dopest vibes and best battles that you'll ever see. That'd be number one. Number two: there's uh, in-house tension with there being brick on brick violence, and you know a lot of personals and insight could be coming out. So I believe it may be a little juicy, you know. And number three: because we us, it's mm. RBE. When has RBE ever had a whack event? When has RBE not put on for the culture? Okay, all right, all right. You right about but that. Come see um, it. Uh, do you do you have any female battle rappers on your radar? Like right now, like every last like, one of them hoes. So there's not every a last person. one of them hoes. If you so, battle rap and you think you better than me. Or you can beat me. I want to battle you. But if so you're looking for me to name some people, yeah, uh, is is there a, a particular person that that that's that you want? Like, okay, I gotta see. I want to see this person outside. Probably Gaddis. Mm, okay. All right. Why Gaddis? Um. She matches my swag. Okay. Um, when you look at her, how she writes, the things she talks about, her and I would have a great battle, a meeting of the mind. She writes very intelligently, but yet is down to earth. She has a lot. It's a layer. Everything she says is a layer. And okay. I've been studying her for as long as I've been watching female battle rap. So it would okay. only be right. I mean, yeah, like, I just, I, my end all be all because it, I need to see a lot more females before I say end all be all. But she's definitely in that one of my. She's definitely one of my goats. Definitely oh, okay. in the top five. All right, all right, I like that. Now, uh, with that being said, I'm gonna. Uh, we played this quick little game with every single battle rapper. Um, I normally put them on the hot seat. I'll. Okay. I'll bring. I'll say one word, and you tell me what's the first thing that pops in your head when uh, oh, I say Lord, that word. I might get in trouble for this. <laughs> All right. First off, okay. we got Virginia. Me. Okay. Um, <laughs> battle rap. Caution. No, I'm just playing. Oh, <laughs> 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 um, our rare breed. Okay, RBE. ARP. ARP. Wing and Lawrence. Wing. Me. <laughs> um that, okay. She, and, she's structure. I'd say structure with wing. Structure. <laughs> uh, brick by brick. The foundation. Uh, and last but not least, caution. Damn. <laughs> Shit. Conviction. Okay. I was all right. trying to think of something other than that because that was the first thing that I that I said. That's so why I was like, damn, like <laughs> but yeah, conviction. All right, you're officially off the hot seat. All right, with that being said, um, before we get out of here, go ahead and give your shout outs really quick before we get out of here. All right, first of all, burn that beach town. That's the movement. I'm Caution, aka the Gun, aka Koshberg Pump, aka Caution Caution Miller and Caution Swoops, because I'm not just a killer. I also shoot. Mm. Um, but I want to give out a shout out to all my bricks. Uh, season one, season two, my contracted bricks, RBE, ARP, Wing, and Lawrence. 
I want to give a shout out to my little bro, Jay Bree, my management, 514, the product. Um, I want to give a shout out to VA, Virginia, stand the fuck up. We here, we lit. Mm, all right, uh, Kasha, it's been lit on this. Uh... You, Thank you so much for having me, dog. Yeah, once again. Hey, yo, uh... one more thing, bro. Can you, uh, let me tell y'all this. I want y'all to look out for the dog and the gun. That's my new show that's about to come out with my brother, Jay Breed, Big Dog Breed. We about to put this little show together, these little podcasts, these little skits together. So y'all be on the lookout for that, the dog with the gun. Mm, oh, yeah, but look out for that and anything Caution got's coming out. Once again, shout out to Caution, shout out to her. Congratulations being on the MBS Power Rankings, ranked at number four. Hopefully, we'll see you Um We'll see you on these cards. I don't know which card it is, but um, I I'm looking forward to this one. Um, but it's been a pleasure. MBS Central, MBS Uncensored. That's Caution. I'm Keo, and we out of here. Bet that. <laughs>